light of which it is part comes the P-61, the murderous Black Widow. The enemy will never come this close to its sting. A top turret mounting multiple machine guns, more deadly firepower in the belly underneath, manned by a keen-eyed crew front and rear, riding between the big twin booms. The P-61 can take off after its enemy alone or in formation, striking through the dark with deadly accuracy, relentless as the spider for which it is named. Home again at dawn, with a good day's work behind it before the sun is up. But let's take it up in full daylight, so you can see what this night fighter looks like. You won't often see it this way. A clear silhouette against a bright day sky. Now is your chance to study this big mid-wing monoplane. Rising above and below the line of the wing, in the center, is the deep, flat-sided crew nacelle. On either side are the two round shapes of the twin underslung radial engines. As the plane rises above you, you see them as the blunt, rounded noses of the twin booms, which taper back toward the tail. In the center, the crew nacelle projects far forward of the engines and backward beyond the wing from which it is suspended. Remember the long nose, it's unique. As we see it from directly below, the size of the wing becomes apparent. It is broad and massive, and the central panel between the booms is square. The leading edge of the wing is straight all the way out to the blunt rounded tips. The trailing edge of the outboard panel gives some taper to the wing. The long narrow crew nacelle protrudes far forward and it tapers to the rear. With the two booms, the plane looks almost as if it had three fuselages. The broad rectangle of the tail plane does not extend outboard of the fins and rudders. From the side, the crew nacelle builds in front like a set of steps going up and slides down behind in a double curve with another curve for the belly underneath. The rounded fins and rudders fare gracefully into the booms. Here you can see the protruding nose, the heavy blunt wing, and the double boom. As we come around in front, get used to recognizing these features in movement. Here they are again, the wing, double boom, and protruding crew nacelle. From up here, you can see the stepped up front of the crew nacelle. The solid gun turret on top may be missing in some planes, but there are always the underslung engines. And now you can see that the tail plane is set about halfway up the fins and rudders. Now let's go around to the rear. Here you see that the crew nacelle ends in a rounded tip, that the wing line is broken in the center, and that the tail plane is notched to permit rudder movement. Watch it go through some of its paces and see if you can spot it on the move, catching whatever features you can as it goes by. Better still, learn to recognize the whole plane as a unique shape in the sky the P-61. You've got it? Once more, protuberant nose and stepped up front of crew nacelle. Heavy blunt wing, trailing edge of the wing tapers back. Long twin booms, fins and rudders fared. Got it?
Okay. But could you recognize it if you saw it like this? At night? P-61, night fighter. Teaching a lesson in recognition.